Technically speaking, terpenes are hydrocarbons or oils, and there are over 30,000 characterized terpenes, 20,000 of which are in the plant kingdom, but they're also found in fungi, bacteria, and insects. Terpenes are one of the most abundant plant chemicals or phytochemicals that are found in nature. And they basically serve as like defense mechanisms. They also attract different things with plants. And when you're walking through the forest or you're in a garden and you smell plants in general, one of the biggest compounds that you are inhaling will be terpenes. What's really interesting about these aromatic compounds is that in most plants, they are attracting insects for pollination. But cannabis is totally different because it is wind pollinated. So the terpenes with cannabis are actually aiding as a defense mechanism. So what's the difference between the essential oil of a plant versus the terpenes in a plant? So this is the essential oil of lavender. And it just so happens that about 40 to 50% of the terpenes that are found in lavender is linalool. So think of lavender as the recipe, okay? Not only is there linalool in here, there's some limonene and some pinene and a bunch of other really common terpenes that make up the recipe and linalool would be one of the specific ingredients. Linalool is one of the most dominant terpenes that are found in cannabis, but we also have myrcene, beta caryophylline pinene, limonene, and a bunch of others. So let's say you're inhaling a variety of cannabis that has a really high ratio of THC to a low ratio of CBD. When you smoke that or vape it, you're going to have a very particular effect because of the cannabinoid ratio. But if you throw terpenes into this equation, it all changes and that's the entourage effect, which is how compounds work together synergistically, okay? Now, it's not just throwing terpenes in, it depends on what type of terpenes because you could have a terpene profile over here that is really sedative and it'll put you to sleep, but your cannabinoid profile did not change. So what did that? this ratio of terpenes. Now on the other side, you could have a ratio of terpene profile over here that's super stimulating and your heart rate starts going up. Maybe you want to go to the gym or you're ready for like a crazy concert or something like that. And it's because of the terpenes, not the cannabinoid profile. So regardless of the strain name, okay, what really matters is the effect of the cannabis plant that you're consuming. And most of that effect through inhalation is going to be coming from the terpene profile and the cannabinoid profile together. When we're talking about broadleaf marijuana, the sedative type, it's because those terpenes are making you feel sedative. And we're talking about narrowleaf marijuana, of course, it is the stimulating terpenes over there. So what's the difference between the limonene that's found in citrus and limonene that's found in cannabis? Nothing. Guess what? A molecule is a molecule. So when you are smelling lemon and you're smelling limonene and terpinoline and pinene and citral, you are also smelling those same terpenes in cannabis. And there's this huge debate in the industry that people are like, oh no, bro. Terpenes from cannabis are so much better. And you know, maybe they smell really good because you're getting the natural ratio of all these different terpenes that are coming from that plant and it reminds you of cannabis. But at the end of the day, the same myrcene that is in here is also in here. The difference is this terpene profile that has myrcene in it came from hemp and this isolated compound, myrcene, that's who knows what plant that it came from, but it is completely isolated, non-cannabis derived. The molecule of myrcene in here is the exact same thing of the myrcene in here. And what's really cool is that this terpene extract that came from hemp, when you smell the isolated myrcene here, you can identify it in here. So most people think that THC is what determines potency with cannabis. But the reality of the situation is that as amazing as THC is, it can only really do so much by itself. But when you start throwing a little linalool into the equation, maybe some myrcene or some limonene, beta caryophylline, anything like that, the potency drastically increases with that entourage effect. So what's really important to understand is that THC 
does not determine potency. It's the entourage of all the other cannabinoids and terpenes combined.